In this video, we will do an exam review of toxic shock syndrome. Few important exam questions before we do the topic and then get the answers after the topic is done. Question number one, which staphylococcal disorders are due to toxin production? Number two, what type of toxins is staph produces? Number three, what are the skin features in toxic shock syndrome? Number four, which organisms toxin causes toxic shock syndrome? Number five, what substances are released in cytokine storm. Number six, where endotoxin is produced in toxic shock syndrome. And number seven, what's the advantage of using clindamycin for toxic shock syndrome? Now let's do the toxic shock syndrome. Toxic shock syndrome is a suddenly developing potentially fatal illness caused by staphylococcal aureus, streptococcus pyrogens and cholesteridium sorodali. The condition develops in those who lack a protective antitoxin antibody which staphylococci and streptococci toxin produces toxic shock syndrome. Staph toxic shock syndrome is produced by enterotoxin and or by a toxin resembling enterotoxin, a pyrogenic toxin superantigen 1. Number 2, strep pyrogen toxic shock syndrome is produced by its exotoxin. Streptococcal M type are associated with invasive group A streptococcal infections and toxic shock syndrome. M protein is the major virulence factor of group A streptococcal infection and is resistant to phagocytosis and multiply rapidly in the blood. So how the toxin act? Toxic shock syndrome toxins act as T cell mitogen. Activated T cell cause cytokine storm causing the release of inflammatory cells and interferon interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 and TNF alpha tumor necrosis factor alpha and TNF beta. Cytokine release causes vasodilatation, dissimilated intravascular coagulation, myocardial suppression, renal failure, acute respiratory distress syndrome and multi-organ failure. The multi-system organ disorder resembles endotoxin shock. Endotoxin produced by GIT enhances the effects of toxic shock syndrome. So GIT producing endotoxin in toxic shock syndrome. How is staph and strep toxic shock syndrome occurs? Staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome may be caused by the use of number one highly absorbable tampons that cause toxic shock syndrome on the second or third day after the start of menstruation or number two toxic shock syndrome may be non-tampon in origin the non-tampon type TSS is due to skin infections and is caused by enterotoxin whereas the tampon type is caused by the super antigen type 1 toxin. So non-tampon type staphylococcal TSS is caused by enterotoxin and tampon type is caused by superantigen 1 toxin. Whereas streptococcal toxic shock syndrome is often associated with skin and soft tissue infections like cellulitis, necrotizing fasciitis, myositis, bacteremia and gangrene but it doesn't occur with streptococcal throat infection. So streptococcal throat infection does not cause toxic shock syndrome whereas it is caused by skin and soft tissue infections. Now the clinical features of toxic shock syndrome. High fever of 102 degree Fahrenheit, hypertension of 90 millimeters of mercury. So hyperthermia with hypotension, diarrhea, vomiting and disorientation and generalized edema and acute respiratory distress syndrome. There is hyperemia of the mucous membrane and staph TSS there is diffuse macular rash whereas streptococcal toxic shock syndrome lacks rash or has a generalized erythematous rash. The rash in both cases is followed by desquamation in the convalescent period about one to two weeks after the onset of illness. So desquamation in the convalescent period one to two weeks after the onset of the illness. Streptococcal toxic shock syndrome has bacteremia and is associated with soft tissue infection. Now the lab findings in toxic shock syndrome. The x-ray chest feature 
pulmonary infiltrates, pleural effusions and the features of acute respiratory distress syndrome. In the blood there is hypoxemia and leukocytosis with thrombocytopenia and a platelet count of less than 100,000 per micron liter. There is coagulopathy, disseminated intravascular coagulation, low fibrinogen and fibrinogen degradation products. The Clostridium sordelli toxic shock syndrome causes a WBC count of 50,000 to 200,000 per micron liter. The condition is rapidly progressive and may be fatal. The features of liver, serum bilirubin more than twice the normal with hypoalbuminemia and in the kidney serum creatinine is more than twice the normal. So serum bilirubin and serum creatinine more than twice the normal in toxic shock syndrome and polymerase chain reaction PCR assay for rapid testing of staphylococci. Isolation of organisms from a sterile site that is CSF in blood or from the non-sterile site that is skin and sputum. Treatment of toxic shock syndrome for staphylococcal and pyogenes TSS, clindamycin 600 to 900 milligram IV three or four times a day and number two a combination therapy of clindamycin with penicillin. Necrotic tissues be removed by debridement as occur in necrotizing fasciitis and for clostridium sordelli TSS ciprofloxacin 400 to 600 mg IV three or four times a day. IV immunoglobulins in the toxic shock syndrome are also used. They neutralize the toxins. And for penicillin allergy, what drugs are used? Metronidazole 500 mg IV six hourly plus ciprofloxacin 400 to 600 mg IV three times a day. So what's the mortality rate in toxic shock syndrome? With Streph aureus, it's less than 5%. But with Streptococcal pyogenes, it's more than 25%. Now, answers to the questions. Which Staphylococcal disorders are due to toxin production? The three disorders which are due to toxin productions are food intoxication, toxic shock syndrome, and scalded skin syndrome. Question number two. What type of toxins is Staph produces? It produces three type of toxins exfoliating that causes scalded skin syndrome number two cytotoxin and number three enterotoxin and or a related pyrogenic toxin super antigen one question number three what are the skin features in toxic shock syndrome in staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome there is a diffuse macular rash whereas streptococcal toxic shock syndrome lacks a rash or has a generalized erythematous rash. The rash in both cases is followed by de-escromation in the convalescent period one to two weeks after the onset of, of the illness. Question number four, which organism's toxin causes toxic shock syndrome? Is Staphylococcus aureus, is Trep pyogen, and Cholestridium sorodelli? Question number five, what substances are released by cytokine storm? Cytokine storm producing interferon, interleukin 1, interleukin 6, tumor necrosis factor alpha and tumor necrosis factor beta. Question number 6. Where endotoxin is produced in toxic shock syndrome? Endotoxin in toxic shock syndrome is produced in the GIT. It acts as a synergistic for the other toxin produced by the toxic shock syndrome so it enhances the effects of toxic shock syndrome. Question number seven, what's the advantage of using clindamycin for toxic shock syndrome? It is a protein synthesis inhibitor so it inhibits the toxin production by different bacteria. Question number eight, how cholestridium sardoli causes toxic shock syndrome. Endometrial cholestridial infection, particularly with cholestridium sordoli, rapidly progresses to toxic shock syndrome and that with a WBC count of 50,000 to 200,000 per micron liter.